Over the years, my garden has continued to get larger and larger. Trying to water that with a single watering can can become quite uh, labor intensive, cumbersome, and inefficient. So I decided it was a good idea and a good time to scale up a little bit this year. So basically what I have here is a hand truck and I have a 30 gallon plastic barrel ratcheted to uh, this hand truck. On the bottom is also a spigot with the blue handle on it. That is so that when the hand truck is on its side and I'm watering the plants, that spigot I can open and that can allow the air to uh, escape. And this is so that water can continue to flow out of the barrel. And so I use rain barrels that I have connected to uh, the garage and these are able to collect rainwater when it rains and um, I have a battery powered siphon that I can use to more efficiently pump out um, the water from the barrels and into the 30 gallon drum uh, that I'm going to use to water the plants with. If you're adding any type of uh, fertilizer amendment or compost tea, what I can do is I can add that uh, right near the beginning, right? I can put a little bit of water initially in the barrel and then I can uh, stop that and then put in my amendment and then or fertilizer, compost tea, whatever. And then I can continue filling the barrel and then that'll help it to mix around a little bit. And then once I finish that and I wheel it over, that'll further mix it in because uh, the yard I have is pretty bumpy. So by the time I get to where I want to water in the garden, this stuff is usually pretty well mixed up. If not, I can continue to move the hand truck back and forth to kind of slosh the stuff together on the inside to shake it around a little bit and mix it in more thoroughly. But overall, this hand truck has been very useful for me. It saved a bunch of trips back and forth and I'm able to utilize rainwater more effectively to water uh, my crops, especially when I have a bunch of peppers or tomatoes planted earlier in the season, um, freshly planted, so they're gonna need more water early on to get established uh, and I can just use this and go wheel it right down the row and water uh, these plants. Earlier in the season it's also easier to use it because the paths that I have in between my garden rows are not as uh, fully grown up and I don't have like squash vines coming out into the uh, row middles or, or the paths. So it's really easier to use this hand truck waterer early in the early season or and into the mid season. Later on, it becomes a little bit more cumbersome because I have like squash vines and other plants growing out of the beds into the rows at, at, in some situations. Uh, and then it can be uh, tr tricky to navigate through that. But also during that time of the year, those plants don't really need it because they're more established usually. Obviously, like if you have a large scale operation, this might not be the most efficient or effective method, but on a small to mid scale uh, operation or garden, uh, this seems to work really well. So thank you so much for checking out this video on my hand truck water. It's a really useful tool that really came in handy this year for watering a bunch of crops. We had some dry spells earlier in the season and throughout the season, uh, and this hand truck water really came in handy. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care.